This is the story of Angela Carson, as told by her spirit. Now, I've never shared this story before with anyone, but this is how Angela Carson told me. Her family was traveling down the road when her drunken father lost control of the wheel, and it rolled over, and Angela, who was not wearing a seatbelt, was flown out of the vehicle and crushed by the car. The father feared he would go to jail, so he buried her in a cornfield, never to be found. A few years ago, I was visiting the Harriet Tubman house. She was an African-American abolitionist, human humanitarian, and Union spy during the Civil War. I was driving down the road when I spotted a little girl on the side of the road, and I asked her if she was lost. She said her daddy had wrecked the car and left her there. I asked her if she had any other family, and she said her nana died last summer, and she used to take care of me. I told her to come home with me, and we would help her find her family. She did, and she played in my house for two days. I thought I should have reported to police, but I didn't think they'd believe me, um, and I had no idea when she died. On the following Monday morning at 3.12 a.m., she was reunited with her grandmother, Nana. I could not help but cry like a baby watching as she went into the light and saw her Nana. I knew from that moment that spirit rescue work was going to be part of my life until I died. Uh, right now, I have three separate images of Angela Carson as she appeared at our spirit rescue event that is held in my home. The first image, Angela standing by our first aid station where she volunteers to help spirits um, answer questions about going to the light. The second picture, sh she is descending from heaven to my home. And the third picture, she is ascending from my home back to heaven. Thank you. Enjoy the video. Spirit, there you go. There you go. Come on, everybody. 